Hi, I'm Therese Bird. I'm a learning technologist with the University of Leicester, and today I'm going to show you our Criminology iPad app. So I'm going to bring it up here on my iPad. There's a bit of a glare, but I think you can see it. So here it is. It's called SCID, S-C-I-D, and that stands for Security, Conflict, and International Development. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And there it is. You can see this app is actually free on the App Store. You can download it. And um, if you just look here in the black, it says tap here to find out how to use this app. So if you tap there, you can just see um, there's a welcome from uh, the head of the department, Adrian Beck. And over along the side, there's uh, these icons that kind of give you a guide to the different resources. <clears throat> For example, uh, it's marked 24-7 if once the resource is on your iPad, you can read it or listen to it anytime, 24-7, day or night, even if you're not connected to the Internet. And then the next one, the orange one, says Wi-Fi, which means you can only um, read it, listen to it if you're connected to the Internet. And of course, that's the whole point of um, giving out these, uh, the iPads with this material on them. The students taking this course are in conflict zones where they cannot be guaranteed to get onto the Internet more often than, say, once or twice a month. So they need to be able to read this stuff even when they're not connected. So I'm going to go back, and I'll just show you, um, let's see, Module 1. I'll press on that. And here you can see uh, Unit 1, Causes of Conflict. So I'll press on that. And there you can see the different, um, uh, different bits. So if I press on here, Podcast. Okay, and it looks like there's um, at least one podcast for every module. If I were to look at some of these other materials, let's have a look here. Then I see um, all the reading material is there. Make sure I can pick it up on the uh, camera here. And um, if I tap on this, let's see what happens. Ah, well then it says credentials, and it wants me to log in. It's looking for a login and a password. Aha, uh -huh. so if I hit cancel, then it says, sorry, access to these documents is restricted. Basically, you need to be registered on the course. And you can tap right there, and it invites you. It looks like I'm going to get the university website. Wait for it. <laughs> Well, I hate when that happens, but the, there we go. The university website is right there, and it's telling you how to register for the course. So that's how the app works. You can get, um, uh, you can get it for free, but um, to get some of the materials, you have to be registered for the course. Thanks.